apply that beautiful sauce. Can see how I'm looking? I'm looking good, girl. You're smelling better. My foodie family, welcome back to How To Foodie Nation. We are outside for our In The Yard series, and this week, Chef Jason, wherever he is, is going to teach us how to do bar barbecue chicken. <laughs> so let's get cooking. This is where you bring me out, girl. In the yard. In the yard. Mm -hmm. People have been asking for to say when Chef Jason and Kezi go in, coming out in the yard and having fun and doing yep. some spontaneous cook by the river, this, that, and the next. We get in there, mm -hmm. starting in the yard. I mean, we can't barbecue chicken in the house. No, we can't. It has to be. It's a must. So it it a, must be in the yard. So it's the intro vibes you have going on here right mm -hmm. now. Guys, barbecue chicken are favorite in the house. So when you see you have a special occasion, birthday, somebody. Anniversary. Yeah, you know, you like that pit, that cold pot that we have going on here. Yeah. We're gonna show you the basics of what's taking place, how to steam or par, cook your chicken, mm -hmm. then go on to the grill. And most importantly, we are going to eat it. So let's get started. What I need to do pretty much is I'm gonna show you the method of lighten the stove. Lighten the stove. <laughs> right? We in there a we go. Beautiful. There so, we go. We're gonna be pre-cooking our chicken now. Right. So get that going on there. I have no water inside there. Mm -hmm. What I do have here is a seasoned chicken. Okay. Now, if you remember from our episode where we yes. show people how to cut up chicken as well as season it, mm -hmm. link before, link below, as well as how to make that beautiful green seasoning, which is also below. So you could see here that we have one chicken cut up. We have the primal parts. That is, we have wings. You have the have legs. Drumsticks, as Kazi mentioned, legs. Seen a breast. Yeah. Well, of course, breast is my favorite. We have thighs. Mm -hmm. Breast, as mentioned. And uh, rather than just rest these on the grill just like that, mm -hmm. sometimes people have a little problem with it being raw in the center, it's yeah, burning it on the outside. So when we actually par cook it, pre boil it, or okay. whatever you want to cook it, steam it, it allows the chicken to cook evenly. Mm -hmm. It stays moist so in the center. Then all you worry about when you get to the grill is the grill max. Pretty much because we just want to bring in that flavor of the nice, you know, the charcoal, right. that nice spit fire kind of vibe going on, okay. that grill. That smokiness. Chef, I'm seeing you just put any chicken in there. It's pretty much Where the water? You don't need water per se. A lot of people figure that you need to put water inside of it. So we don't need to boil it? You don't need to boil it. What happens is that the chicken is going to spring its natural juices. All mm. right. So again, a nice low fire here, people. That's what's going on. Lay it out nicely. We have both white meat and dark meat. Okay. And we're going to get to that in a little while in terms of explaining what that is about. Mm -hmm. And what you need to do is low heat. Low and slow. Low and slow. Do not put it on high. It will start to crisp up the bottom. We don't want that. Okay. So put the cover on top. Now what happens is that as the steam rises, it's going to drop back inside there. So you're going to get a pooling of water. Barbecue science, they call that. So guys, we're going to allow this to cook for about 22 to 25 minutes. Halfway through the time, just give it a flip. Whatever is below, bring it on top. And whatever is on top, put it back below. In terms of the pieces, let it cook evenly. Okay. All right, Kezi. Okay. You see so the, I see yeah. the water that you were talking about that sprung from the chicken. That's natural chicken stock that had came out there. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's still hot. Chicken right? is nice and moist inside. It's mm -hmm. cooked through. So the idea is that we're going to just rest this on the grill. Okay. The wings, everything has cooked evenly. So we have that done. Done. We want to talk about the sauce? We had to talk about the sauce. Is this our pineapple barbecue sauce that we made last no, time? No, uh, we have a pineapple barbecue sauce on our channel, Foodie Nation for How To. Mm -hmm. This is a guava barbecue sauce. Ah. It's a new one that I made. Ah. And the recipe is below in the description box. Be sure to check out the recipe, guys. All right. So we have that going on. And we have our cold pot here now. The most important part. So guys, when developing the fire for a cold pot, as you can tell, this is the real deal here, the real McCoy. We lit it up. We have little embers inside it. Some people use gazette to start it up. Pieces use little shavings of wood, maybe like mango wood, Portugal wood to get it going. They put the charcoals on top. But when you see those ashes starting to develop, when the coals themselves are nice and white, right. with a little flaming orange, that is the indication that it's time to barbecue. You do not barbecue on fire em emitting from the cold No pot. flames. Your flames going to burn up the chicken. You're going to burn up the chicken. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do, right? So let's go with our white meat first. Okay, so white meat, our breast pieces, and our wings, correct? Correct. Right, they cook very quickly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put our... Does it matter what side down we go in? Is it skin side? Pretty much at the end of the day, it doesn't matter at this point in time. Because we're going to rotate because anyway. Because we're going to rotate. So we're going to put down our breast. Okay. All right. There we go. Our wings. Put them on the rack. Now, if you don't have a fancy rack like this, guys, 
some really sturdy chicken wire works very well as a, a good grit. Ah, that's smart. And then it has some people outside saying, but chef, I don't even have a cold pot. At the end of the day, ladies and gents, I mean, you can use uh, the flame grill. That yeah. works well, the fire mm -hmm. grill. However, the only advantage with using a cold pot is that you get what? That nice, smoky coolness. That charcoal flavor. <laughs> that's kind of charcoal. From the actual that charcoal. Smokiness coming through. Mm -hmm. So, invest in one and on that hard to get. You get them in home stores. Yeah. And some charcoals, and pretty much we're showing you how to do it right now. If Kezi, you do have a big fancy grill. As I have this one here right now, the idea is that I want to develop a bit of a char first, and then I'm going to start to apply my barbecue sauce. Okay. So, I'll how put, long are we leaving this here? Typically for white meat, such as wings and breasts, obviously the breast is a little larger. We're mm -hmm. looking at probably four to five minutes for pretty much on each side. Okay. On a nice slow fire. So then we turn. Gonna turn. Right. So I'm gonna let this develop a little bit right now. In about mm -hmm. two minutes, I'm gonna put my first layer of sauce and then turn it. I will help you with it. Of course. <laughs> Kezi, I think it's about that point in time where we're ready for some sauce. You want to do the honors? Please, thank you. Beautiful. So you want to start to apply it. We have that brush going on inside here. So Chef, why am I only just putting on the barbecue sauce? Why didn't I start with the sauce? Most of these sauces sometimes have a high sugar content. Tomato, right. barbecue, mm -hmm. go over inside your pineapple. So you don't want it to start to burn. So you put it on and then we're going to turn it. So what I'm going to this do is this now. This is hot. Uh... Hello. Put it on. You see that? Apply sauce on that too. You're doing okay. good. You're doing a great job, you know. Make I sure try you give it a lot of love. And getting all the parts. I know, I see, I see your cousins wake up. They're starting <laughs> to make noise. They're smelling barbecue now, boy. That's the thing about barbecue. You know, when we're cooking home, right? Like when my dad barbecues, all the neighbors know that, you know, something delicious happening in the neighborhood. You can't miss the smell. It's amazing. It just travels for miles, you know, at the end of the day. Chef again, burn up here. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. All right, right. You don't want to take over. Please, thanks. I'm di dying in this heat all year. Look at this beautiful stuff. Look at that. So we're going down there. Apply that beautiful sauce. Kezi, how are you looking? Are you looking good, girl? You're smelling better. Gosh, I've seen people all passing in front of the neighborhood. They're only watching me. Look at people. I hope they know <laughs> that we're not sharing this chicken. They don't know that, Kezi. How mm -hmm. you just behave on the inside is different from the outside. No, it's the same way. We don't share outside, we don't share inside. <laughs> you know, like JD. Oh, JD, to say it? None for you. None. <laughs> so we're going on here. So basically, we did about three minutes early on. Mm -hmm. Flip it over and I have the sauce going on. Now, a good point to mention is that if fire is too hot, hand me the jug, please. Sure. What you can do is just simply take a little touch of water like this okay. to control. And you just put a little bit just to quell it. Ah, boy. If the fire is outrageous and extra like you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you're extra. Right? So, we're going again for about three minutes. Remember I said about five minutes, five, right. six minutes in total yeah. side, so about three minutes on. It smells good, huh? It smells so good. All right, Kezi. Ooh. So that's our breast and our wings. Stunning. How oh, great that looks so far. So we have our so good. white meat done. So now onto the dark meat. Great. Straight out of the stock here. And you were saying that dark meat cooks, is it slower, is it quicker? You want to do it a little slower for okay. a longer period of time. So I would probably say about three minutes on each side. Remember, okay, it is okay. cooked just to get that beautiful mark and flavor coming through inside there. Without the burning. Without the burning. Mm. So let this go for a period of time. Okay. Flip them over, do the same process as the first time where we right. add the sauce coming down to the middle to the end. Mm -hmm. And time to eat. Then it's time to eat, guys. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Round of applause for you, my good Sue. You know, a lot of people, this is performance. A lot of people are intimidated by barbecue, eh? But when you really think about it, it is something that is not that difficult to make and it's very yummy. Once you have the right steps and the proper tools. But that's why we're here, Kazi. You're in check. You break it down. How mm -hmm. to barbecue. <laughs> Speaking about how to, I want to learn how to eat, eat. barbecue. For sure. Do you want a piece? Well, you know, this is we in the yard. And as rustic as it is, we share a wing here. <laughs> oh, it's tender. Hold on to so that. So basically, thing. you're giving me the whole thing. Yeah. Me whole thing. Go tuna, go tuna. Mm-hmm. 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 My friend. Listen, you know the best part about being in the yard? This. End of story. Uh-huh. Remember? Mm-hmm. 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 This was a, a good day to come in the yard, you know. A good, chef, I am so in love with this sauce. What was it again? A guava? 
Guava barbecue sauce. Guava barbecue sauce. The beauty sauce. about it is that you get the sweet profiles of the guava coming through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The robust saltiness and saviness of the sauce. The barbecue. nice char. The char comes in together so you get that nice umami vibe going on. Mm -hmm. Texture wise, chicken is cooked perfectly because of the pre cooking method. All the way inside, good to go. And you see that, you could tell it's properly cooked, mm -hmm. nice and white, but you get that nice char on the outside. So, this is what's something about parboiling or pre cooking. You ensure that it's cooked on the inside. Yeah. And you get the nice char on the outside rather than just. So it's foolproof. You know, you don't you want can't no raw chicken, up. guys. No raw chicken on the inside. Mm -hmm. The sauce is amazing. Even our pineapple barbecue sauce that we showed you guys how to make earlier yes. on in the season works well with this chicken. But for this guava barbecue sauce, be, so, be sure to check the description bar below because the full recipe is right there. Now, guys, if you're not fond of maybe chicken and you're more of a lamb person, mm -hmm. beef, pork. Shrimp, po God! Damn. Pork! <laughs> so pork belly on this and we're good to go. Pork belly and go about what? Because I'm getting excited. But I mean, try anything. Fish also is very good. Oh, a nice fish for me, thanks. A nice fish too. I feel like you could head down the road and get tuna. Ladies and gents, you all are getting crazy and excited. Tell us, what are the protein? What are yes. the meat? What are the seafood? What do you guys like to barbecue at home? Tell us, be sure, in the comments. Mm -hmm. And of course, subscribe. And we'll see you next time for more in the yard recipes with How To Foodie Nation. Bye, guys. Potato salad, no, we don't.